Welcome back to the Gator News. I'm Rebecca Guthrie. And I'm Hannah Gatlin. Seniors, capping down orders are due to Balfour by March 1st. Please see Ms. Coleman if you have any questions. Speaking of due dates, senior fees are also due to Ms. Coleman or Ms. Terry at the front desk by March 4th. Teachers, juniors, and seniors, there is an upcoming college fair on campus, March 23rd. Over 30 colleges will be visiting, so make sure you bring a bag for all your free goodies. Gators, please remember to follow our uniform guidelines every day in order to keep our 2Q Tuesday privileges. March 5th is Swamp Fest, which is a great way for high schoolers to get service hours, so go sign up for a preferred station and time in the front office. National Honor Society meetings will now be held during break in the Media Center on the first Thursday of each month. Talent show auditions will be March 30th. If you have any questions or are interested, go see Ms. J. Go see Ms. J for more information. While we're talking about auditions, cheer tryouts are approaching soon, so good luck to anyone trying out. Mardi Gras break is coming up soon, so let's hear a couple of fun Mardi Gras facts from our current and upcoming trail mates. Hey, I'm Andy, a peach on the 2021-2022 Mobile Azalea Trail Court. Fun fact about Mardi Gras, Mobile was the actual birthplace of it, so every year New Orleans has to request to celebrate it. I'm Maggie Farmer, I'm a Yellow Azalea Trail mate on the 2021 Trail in 2022 Court. And uh, my favorite uh, Mardi Gras fact is when the Cal Valley Young Direction Society was formed, it was a group of guys um, led by Michael Kraft. He went and like robbed like a hardware store and they had like cowbells and they just like paraded around Mobile and that was the first ever like actual parade for Mardi Gras. Hey, my name is Lizzie Brewer. I'm a green on the 2021-2022 Mobile Azalea Trail Court. And a fun fact I bet you didn't know about Mardi Gras is that Mobile's colors are actually only yellow and purple. Green is something that New Orleans kind of threw in there and we just kind of picked up, but our official colors are only purple and yellow. Hi, my name is Allie. I am a trail maid for 2022 Trail and 2023 Court. I'm a green. And my fun fact about Mardi Gras is that Joe Kane Day. Um, it is on the Sunday before Fat Tuesday, and there's a big procession. It's not really called a parade, sometimes called the People's Parade. Um, and it's not really run by a specific Mardi Gras like court, but people just parade through the street. Um, and also on that day, widows go and visit Joe Kane's grave. My name is Gracie Giles and I'm a Lavender Isaiah Trail Maid on the 2022-2023 court. My favorite Mardi Gras fact is before Moon Pies were thrown, they threw Cracker Jack boxes. But Cracker Jack boxes were later replaced with Moon Pies because Moon Pies were softer and easier for the paraders to throw. Hi, I'm Caitlin Ross. I am a Blue Azalea Trail Maid and I'm on the upcoming court for the 2022 Trailing 2023. And my favorite fact about Mardi Gras is that we have had Mardi Gras every single year since it was originally founded, except for the Civil War, World War I, and World War II. Even through COVID, we just substituted for porch parades. So. Hi, I'm Hannah Gatlin. And I'm Marley Wilkins. I'm captain of the soccer team. I'm also a senior on the girls' soccer team. Over the weekend, we went to our final Southern Shootout tournament, and we went undefeated. We played um, Mobile Christian. Yeah, Mobile Christian, and we beat them 5-0. Then we had a rematch with Theodore. We beat them. We beat them 6-2. How do you think we are as a team, working as a team right now? I think that over this weekend we've showed like a lot of improvement, especially from like our first game with Theodore. We've come back like we learned their team, learned how to play together better, and we just like overcame that. Didn't let the first loss affect us. I agree. I feel like we came back stronger. Personally, I like when people come to our games because I'm like I'm just like a I'm like better under pressure. And if I know like someone's there to watch me, I'm like okay, like I'm doing really good because they're there to watch me. So, I like the support. Basically, you could either be a nail or a hammer. The nail gets pushed around and like takes all the hits, but when you're the hammer, you're in control. Basically decide like you're gonna take home the win or not. Go Gators! <laughs> be the hammer. Billy Scott, the captain of the varsity boys soccer team for Sassam High School. Try to keep everybody's morale up and to keep the energy up. 
and even if we're down to play as hard as you can. Make it to the second round of the playoffs. The year jobs came about. We had a couple bad games and everybody was pointing fingers and turning heads and it just came down to just focus on doing your own job and everything would be fine. Don't worry about anybody else's job, just do yours. Just, if somebody makes a mistake, just try to keep their head up and tell them to just do it right next time. Ideas come in all forms. The daydreaming, the decisions, the what ifs, the kind of ideas that latch on, the ones that lead to destruction. So all one can do is give in and wait for the reaction. Guys, we have an emergency. What happened? So he was trying out his Steve Irwin impression and I think he got a little Wait, carried so away. Wait, so he tried to wrestle an alligator? Yeah, he wrestled an alligator because he was trying out a Steve Irwin impression and just like, I don't even know what got all My of him. My dumb adopted brother. All right, let's get you to the lab. All right, come on, sit down on the bed. He's a sore loser. Quit with the accent already. It's got you in enough trouble. 33% of adolescents in America are victim to some type of relationship abuse. There are five types of relationship abuse. Physical, mental, verbal, sexual, and social abuse. Abuse tears the victim down mentally and physically. When with your friend, be sure to look out for these signs that could be a hint at a much more major problem. Hidden bruises or broken things, those can both be signs of physical abuse. Also, if someone you know suddenly stops hanging out with friends or family and becomes isolated with a significant other, this could also signal trouble. Finally, if a boyfriend or girlfriend is extremely jealous or possessive, this is not a sign of a healthy dating relationship. If you know anyone who you suspect is in an abusive relationship, please reach out for help. There is always help. For a domestic abuse hotline, please call... 800-799-7233. Also, you could call 251-342-8994 for the local Penelope house. Always remember that love is caring and not controlling. Winter Guard is the competitive indoor season for Color Guard. We compete in a Gulf Coast circuit throughout March up against schools from Alabama, Florida, and Mississippi. Once marching season is over, we spend hours working our routine and dedicating tons of hard work and time so we are ready for performances. Our guard this year is extremely talented and if you'd like to see us, we will be hosting a free show here at the school in March. <laughs> 